Hello, I'm Leona Vanderhoff, and this is part two of how to choose the correct capture type in a Blue Prism Interact form. For those of you who have not watched part one, we covered configuration settings that are common across all capture types and those specific to text, text area, paragraph, numbers, date and time. In this short how-to video, we'll be covering the remainder caption types, which are upload, horizontal rule, drop-downs, radio and checkbox groups, and tables. But before we do this, let's have a quick look at all the capture types. There are 12 in total, and most will allow you to capture data using input fields within the submit process. Each capture type has an automation ID, which can be referenced in the Interact VBO for manipulation. The upload allows any file or image to be passed to an automation for further processing, with the exception of executable files, the ones with the .exe file extension. These files are not supported. There is only one controlling aspect, which is which file extensions are accepted. You can add a list of these extensions that you want to support in the form. These need to be added without leaving single quotes and separated by commas. In this case, we're going to select image as the file type and then select from one to three file types, JPEGs, PNGs and GIFs in this example. Also note, you can specify the max size of the file. All files are stored with blob storage and a URL is included in the collection sent to the Blue Prism queue. The horizontal rule capture type is used for cosmetic purposes only and has no ability to capture data. It is used to visually break up larger pages so it's easier to read. The line can be padded to control the space before and after with a maximum of 99 pixels either side of the line. In this case, we will move the line to below the name and address fields to separate it off for the remainder of the form fields. The drop-down field allows the user to select a single item or multiple items from a list. If you choose multiple, you can specify the minimum and maximum selection limits, but in this case we will use a single selection. You can add up to 250 items in the drop-down options. We will add just three and set the initial value as the default. The radio group field allows the user to select a single item from a list containing up to 10 values. You can define a default value. Radio groups are rendered differently when the form is viewed in the play test area than on the published form. We will see this at the end of this demo when we review this form as published. The checkbox group field supports both a single and multiple selections from a defined list. Up to 10 items can be added and you can set one as the default if needed. The checkbox group also has a minimum and maximum option settings, but we have made this an optional field so it can also support no selections. The table capture type enables you to capture data within a table structure. You can control the number of rows initially available in the table and define the number of columns that are needed and give the columns their headings. A maximum of 15 columns are allowed in a table and you can define the maximum amount of rows there will be in the table. The user can then add or delete rows as they are completing the form. Now we will take a quick look at the published form, as a user will be seeing it as they complete the form fields. Take a note of the radio group. See how it's rendered slightly different than when we created it? So what have we learnt? Over this two-part how-to video series, we have looked at the 12 different capture types available to us to use when we are developing an interact form. And those configuration settings for the text field, text area, paragraph, number, date, time, upload, horizontal rule, drop-down fields, radio groups, checkbox groups, and tables. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about Interact or any other Blue Prism products, please visit the Blue Prism University via the link in the description below. And visit the Blue Prism University community to get support from other members and participate in various discussions via the link in the description below.